beloved Bay Area group of artists about to get the boot from a landlord who they say raised the rent. San Francisco Taiko Dojo is the very first Taiko group in the U.S., first setting up shop back in 1968 in San Francisco's Japantown. But now they're being kicked out of their practice studio in South San Francisco after new landlords tripled their rent. KPX5 Mary Lee spoke to the 80-year-old Taiko Grandmaster Seishi Tanaka, who is determined to keep that legacy alive. He is the founding father of Taiko in the United States. Sensei Grandmaster Seiichi Tanaka was the first ever to perform Taiko Japanese drums at the Cherry Blossom Festival in San Francisco's Japantown in 1968. For me to play Taiko is very meaningful. Now I am a, a frontier, this country. My, my life and the Taiko together now. But now his famous Taiko group may be coming to an end. They're getting kicked out of their South San Francisco Taiko practice studio at the end of the month after new landlords tripled their rent. They have no choice but to pack up more than 100 of their historical drums. Well, of course, I'm proud of, you know, my father's legacy and, uh, you know, being the very first Taiko group in the United States in 1968. I think not just myself, but all of our performers, all of our alumni, students, over the years have really come through and tried to work really hard and fight hard to try to keep, you know, the legacy going. We made Taiko history right here. Sensei Tanaka says he has more to give to his community and he is not giving up without a fight. Sometimes I still do practice, so i going back to <laughs> this 80 years old to challenge myself. Oh, I see. Then do it faster. Okay. He even challenged me, giving me my first taiko lesson. He says taiko is good for the soul. Is that okay? Yes. Wunderbar. In South San Francisco with San Francisco Taiko Dojo, Mary Lee, KPIX 5.